Speculative poetry is a genre of poetry that focuses on fantastic, science fictional and mythological themes. It is also known as science fiction poetry or fantastic poetry. It is distinguished from other poetic genres by being categorized by its subject matter, rather than by the poetry's form. Suzette Hayden Elgin defined the genre as, "...about a reality that is in some way different from the existing reality." Due to the similarity of subject matter, it is often published by the same markets that publish short stories and novellas of science fiction, fantasy and horror, and many authors write both in speculative fiction and speculative poetry. The field has one major award, the Reisling Award, given annually to a poem of more than 50 lines and to a sub-50 lines poem by the U.S.-based Science Fiction Poetry Association. History Much of the Romantic poetry of the 19th century used techniques seen in modern fantasy literature, retellings of classical mythology and European folklore, both to show alternative angles in the stories and to explore social issues. Many distinguished poets here were women, and many used folktales as an acceptable social camouflage with which to explore feminist concerns. One of the most celebrated of these poems, Christina Rossetti's 1862 Goblin Market, remains a source of critical debate. Andrew Joran wrote in 1981 that over the past decade in the United States, it was possible to create a tradition that established and defined the genre of science fiction poetry. Joran, Andrew, 1981. Is this poetry or is it science fiction? In common with the gradual recognition of science fiction and fantasy as distinct literary genres in the 1930s, science fictional poetry began publication as a distinct genre in the pulp magazines of the United States. Fantasy specific Weird Tales 1923 to 1954 and its brief compatriot Unknown 1939 to 43 were the only major publishers. They were succeeded by more serious venues including the US-based The Magazine of Fantasy and Science Fiction F&SF 1949, the UK-based flagship of the new wave movement New Worlds while it was under the editorship of Michael Moorcock between 1964 and 1970, and the annual reprint anthologies of F&SF and the year's best science fiction Fiction edited by Judith Merrill. These anthologies drew much of their content from mainstream or literary sources. In the 1960s, anthologies of original speculative material began to be published. F and S F ceased accepting poetry in 1977, a gap in the market taken up by the newly established Asimovs. The Science Fiction Poetry Association SFPA was founded by Suzette Hayden Elgin the following year. In the 1970s, Elgin's colleague Frederick J. Mayer for some time awarded an annual Clark Ashton Smith Award for Best Fantastic Poetry. By 1990, Asimov's remained the major newsstand market, but a diverse array of predominantly U.S.-based small press markets had developed, many lasting several decades, and many choosing purely electronic publication post-2000. 
This is in common with mainstream written poetry in the U.S. over this time. SFPA, now called the Science Fiction and Fantasy Poetry Association, awards the Reisling for short and long form SF and Fantasy Poetry Awards annually. Most winners have been either science fiction or science themed rather than fantasy or horror. Most Reisling nominees have been from the small press poetry journals Dreams and Nightmares, the magazine of speculative poetry, and the SFPA's own journal, Star Asterisk Line. Winners are reprinted in the Nebula Awards anthology. The Horror Writers Association has a separate recognition for single author collections of horror poetry, the Bram Stoker Award, though there is no facility in the Bram Stoker Award to honor anthologies of horror, weird poetry. <laughs> Subgenres and themes Topic: Science fiction. Science fiction poetry's main sources are the sciences and the literary movement of science fiction prose, scientifically informed verse, sometimes termed poetry of science, is a branch that has either scientists and their work or scientific phenomena as its primary focus, it may also use scientific jargon as metaphor. Important collections in this area include the 1985 anthology of predominantly science published poems Songs from Distant Worlds. This area often sees work by mainstream poets, and works on these themes dominated the early years of the Reisling Awards. Mythic. <laughs> <laughs> Mythic poetry deals with myth and folklore, with a particular focus on reinterpreting and retelling traditional stories. <laughs> Horror Horror poetry is a subset which, in the same way as horror fiction, concentrates on ghostly, macabre, spectral, supernatural themes. Modern horror poetry may also introduce themes of sadism, violence, gore, and the like. Weird. Weird poetry is a subset. It differs in several important ways from straightforward modern horror poetry. It arises from the early 20th century literary tradition of the weird also known as weird fiction, in which certain groups of authors collectively attempted to move beyond tired old stories of haunted castles, graveyard ghosts, and suave vampires. It tends to be concerned with the subtly uncanny, and is expressed in macabre and serious tones. The atmospheres of a certain place may be evoked, and the narrator may discover certain weird details of that place which arouse a sense of unexplainable dread. Some weird poetry will describe timeless geological forces or the night sky, trying to harness the feeling of dread to a wider and sublime cosmic awe about mankind's insignificance in the universe. Yet the narrators of such poetry tend to be unreliable, and may perhaps be on the edge of madness. They may describe or hint at unreal nature-defying events which occur in otherwise normal places, although without the overt technical explanation found in science fiction, and without the violence and sadism common to modern post-1970 horror. 
S. T. Joshi's short book of essays Emperors of Dreams, Some Notes on Weird Poetry 2008 examines a number of key weird poets. While weird poetry has appeared in a vast array of anthologies and journals both professional and small press, perhaps the first journal devoted exclusively to this form is Spectral Realms, founded in 2013 by editor S. T. Joshi and published by Hippocampus Press. Noted poets Topic See also New Weird Sci-fi coup Slipstream genre Speculative art